excuse the sweatiness. I'm back from the gym and I'm going to start this, this vlog off with a countryside rant because uh, I feel like these are uh, not to snark on them too much, but these YouTubers who used to do beauty and fashion that are now country lifestyle bloggers who garden in their crisp white shirts and expect us all to believe it. Um, they they don't they don't talk about the real life. Like living oh sorry, I should readjust it. Living in the countryside is obviously I love it, I wouldn't change it for the world, but it does have its drawbacks and we're very much suffering the consequences of living in the countryside this week. Um, so basically, not that anyone cares, but maybe you do if you're not from the UK, so you want to know what our countryside life is like. Uh, we live right on the fringe of our local town, um, to the point where I live actually is called a completely different place from the big town. and. If you go down the road from where we live, it is then just countryside with a few little houses. And to get to our end of town, we only have one main road basically, which goes under a railway bridge that always floods and they're currently doing up that railway station. Um, so if anything goes wrong, we're kind of scuppered. And so if I want to go into town, which I think is about a mile and a half, I think, for me to get into the town centre, I have to do a seven mile diversion, which involves driving through four villages to then do a loop to go into my town and then I have to drive all the way back and do another loop, um, which is crazy. It's bad enough that uh, I live in an area that doesn't, that Ocado doesn't deliver to us. Yes. We have, we don't even really have Just Eat. We definitely don't have Uber Eats or Delivery. We're like too countryside for that, but not even Just Eat really deliver with that. That's like how random our location is. And yeah, it's just infuriating. And then there is a slightly quicker way, but it would be very generous to call that that a road. It's more of a farm track. It literally just goes through someone's farm like quite a lot of roads do in Norfolk. You could end up turning the wrong way and end up driving through someone's farm. I used to do it very regularly when I went to visit one of my friends. And people don't know, you can tell these people don't really know how to drive down the farm tracks because they're all kind of hesitant. They don't want to scratch their fancy cars. Um, it's just a nightmare. And yeah, that's, that is my rant of living in the countryside. Oh, and to add, to rub salt into the wounds, one of the other back roads that connects to like the back end of us, they've closed that as well. The one outside the pub we usually go to. <laughs> so I can't even take our residence in the pub at the moment if I'm sick of trying to get home. So that is the reality of living in the countryside where yeah, we just don't really know how to cope with extreme weather who had flooding that's half the reason why that road is damaged yeah don't recommend it this weekend is a busy one like all of my weekends are really and i am going to the game fair so this is like the east anglian game fair and the first day i'm going just as kind of like a visitor meeting up with friends have a great time walk around and then the second day i'm actually volunteering with the gamekeepers welfare trust doing uh like blood pressure checks pulse checks because um i don't know if i've ever said it on here before but i i'm a cardiology professional i'm not a doctor I'm something different i haven't got the patience to explain that today but um i'm not a nurse either so i'm going to volunteer my time Kind of doing health checks for members of the rural community like gamekeepers stalker dear stalkers not not stalkers stalkers <laughs> and um yeah because they often won't access healthcare. i mean it's when you know when a farmer comes to you in a e or something you know shit's bad because they're they're only coming if it's a matter of life or death so it'd be good to see like how that goes hopefully i won't pick up anything horrific like C 
super high blood pressure, but who knows? But yeah, it's really nice to use my clinical skills in a different capacity. It's kind of like two parts of my life, like countryside and cardiology fitting together. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. So hopefully I'll, I'll say I won't film the second day, patient confidentiality, but I will endeavour to get some footage of the East Anglian Game Fair. You probably noticed I went last year. I went the year before that as well. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. It's my favourite show locally. To be oh, Olive thought, oh, Mabel thought it was Amber. Oh, oh look, there's another Amber over there. Just Amber oh, said it. Yeah. Again, I've neglected videoing things. I've been having way too much fun trying all the alcohol and I've just bought some really pretty shot glasses that I'll show you later. We're just having a little walk around first before I go and meet some people at the pub. Oh, we've got to go somewhere. Ah, oh, the doggy died. The cutest thing you've ever seen. <laughs> so small. There's the dog treadmill here. Oh my god. You would love that. video a bit of um, kind of the surroundings we're really lucky to have where we live. Um, this is our big forest and there's all sorts of stuff hiding in here like deer, definitely deer, and they like to jump out at you at four in the morning, terrified me once. Um, but yeah we're so lucky and for people who say that Norfolk and Suffolk are flat, wrong, it's quite a bumpy road for Norfolk standards anyway. Any of you watching who live in the West Country or Cotswolds would be thinking that's like a pancake compared to me but you know in Norfolk it's a big deal the worst thing about the weather getting slightly better like clad wankers I'm like rushing about running full steam ahead and forgot to film my outfit this morning while I had my shoes on but I'm, believe me when I say I'm not putting them back on because my feet are a bit sore from walking around all day but to be fair, you could if you want if you want to see a picture of my outfit, just go on go on Instagram. Um I've got a little amber helper here. Say hi. Okay. <laughs> uh yeah, so my outfit today. Oh, I haven't got my Holland Cooper trousers on either. But you know, and this kind of goes. These are my famous pheasant leggings. They're the old the older colour ones. I love them. But um the weather's not great here at the moment it i feel honestly think it's been raining since october non-stop we had that very brief sunny weekend and it's cold not great um yeah so to be fair it was more of like outerwear kind of making the statement than in my actual outfit today um did i did change coats halfway through but i will show <laughs> i will show you i bought an amazing coat um but I just went kind of simple, Hicks and Brown fedora. Uh, this is the um, one with the pheasant feather wrap. Ginger and Jardine, that, uh, my one's the mustard one because it's got brown in it and I was wearing my brown Holland Cooper trousers. Shuffle, because you can't go wrong with that. I'd rather have too many layers than too little because I hate being cold and I'm always cold. I'll show you basically what I ended up wearing most of the day. I'll just go and get it. <clears throat> so I walked past this um, stand that had tweed coats and I was looking for one for Charleston, but I didn't want to spend like £500 on a coat because if I'm going to spend that kind of money, I would rather buy like a Burberry or something, which I have done. But um, this was... This is 100% wool and it was £150 reduced and it's like half price for a brand called Hyde Park and um, it's just absolutely stunning. I've got one that's got kind of like no collar just because I think it looks 
it fits a lot better but it's just absolutely stunning it's got this really really like deep pink running and it's got kind of the deep pink in the over track as well it's just a really nice smart coat and um, definitely something that i'd wear for like races maybe Charleston next year so i'm so excited i think it's the best thing i've bought all day and i i wore it as soon as i bought it just because i thought oh i like this this is uh this is great i was wearing my barber i have a ew, something just fell on my head um, I have a um, Liberty print barber, so I was wearing that earlier on, but to be fair, like, it's quite sweaty. We're in that in-between season where it's kind of like almost a bit too warm to wear a coat sometimes, but you need a coat and wax jackets. You get like that layer of hot trapped in and end up a bit sweaty, but yeah, like this is kind of like the gist of my outfit today. I love it. Um, yeah, I'll show you what I bought today as well uh i wasn't really looking for anything in particular i think it was more like if i see something the only thing i was looking for was a dummy for amber just because she needed like a new one well she didn't need a new one but i wanted to get a second one because at the moment we've only got like a little pillow style uh let's see if i can find it it's not in there um. <laughs> yeah, so that's my barber that I was wearing. It's just kind of like the classic brown color with Liberty limited edition print. Like they don't, definitely don't make them anymore, but I just wanted something a little pizzazz. Uh, okay, let's see what we can find. Ah, here it is. <laughs> so yeah, I just got her a little dummy for training because obviously she's still tiny. So she just needs something that's not gonna hurt her neck and she can actually get her chops around. It's from a company called Muntjack Trading, and I know dogs. I don't think dogs can really see pink. Like it's not like a colour that's really bright, but she'll still notice it's a dummy. It's more for me that I wanted pink. You know, girls and gun dogs. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like it's one of those ones that you can kind of throw <laughs> rather than this one's like a bean bag. The one we currently have. Um, that's good. Then I was in the food tent walking around stuffing my face with doll because I love doll. Um, and it's actually nice to have something at a show for once that I can eat, like entirely. So I might keep that as an option for tomorrow when I'm kind of volunteering at the game fair. But this, I just saw it, I saw it advertised and she didn't have it out. And I was like, do you have any of this like a try? Um, it's by, what was that? The Celtic Spirit Company. They're a Welsh company. And this is called Innkeeper's Tipple. It is blueberry whiskey liqueur. I love whiskey. And I've literally just finished off my bramble whiskey that I made last like game season. Because I've got hay fever has come back with a vengeance and I've, it just makes my throat sore. And if I'm honest, I think whiskey is the, the best thing for a sore throat. Like, forget all these medicines it's whiskey plus i'm like slightly intolerant to one of the medicines for that so whiskey all the way but this is amazing it's so it's just so smooth and i've never had blueberry i've had more like slow and uh, blackberry but this is just it's hard to explain it like if you like flavored whiskey get on their website and go buy some it's amazing and their whiskey is incredible as well i might need to go and buy a bottle of that like it's the nicest smoothest whiskey i've ever come across and never had welsh whiskey i've had like irish and scottish and english but never welsh got past the company um shots and co because they always sell it at the local shooting ground and i really want to try some but it's okay. it's not something I just want to jump into without having ever tasted it because it's £85 a bottle. So I tried the salted caramel uh, vodka. Incredible. Their slow gin is lovely too. But then I noticed that they had um, shot glasses and I kind of asked if they were for sale and she said they were £40 for a pair, which is like not, not cheap. But when I show you them, you'll be like, they're amazing. Because uh, a lot of the kind of used cartridge kind of um brands they use resin 
to make shot glasses and uh, i don't really like drinking things out of plastic cups especially where alcohol is concerned because i feel like it alters the taste but i wanted some funky shot glasses just for like those kind of things like like this that you don't really want a whole glass of although to be fair i will use a small glass and have a little bit at the bottom i saw these and i just i had to have them they're so they're quite unique actually so they look like this they're shot glasses obviously as i said and they've got the company name on the bottom and they're like a good weight as well <laughs> like they're really cool um so yeah they came as a pair so i'm very happy that's like something i've been after for quite a while and they come in a nice box so i'm gonna pop them on my alcohol cabinet keep them safe and they're like a good display item as well it's good oh you can see olive <laughs> in the background she's knackered we took her to the to the game fair and left amber at home because amber obviously she's still quite young and i think it would just be a bit much for her but olive is knackered she's just finding somewhere to sleep and then i went into hair and heather i really like their stuff and actually i was using my hair and heather tote bag today anyway and they had three for two and t-shirts and i've been faffing around online because i just wanted some nice t-shirts that i can wear for say riding around the house walking young farmers like the gym and i just i really like their logo so i thought i'm gonna get i'm gonna get t-shirts um so i got two of these ones it's like a dark forest green just with the logo on and then as they were free for two i got one for max in as well so we can match <laughs> and then i really like this color as well and actually they will go perfectly this especially will go perfectly with my holland cooper brown trousers like i put it against it because i was wearing them and i thought oh my goodness this is like the kind of combination i didn't realize i needed brown on brown it's not like cucumber <laughs> but uh, yeah the other one is just uh the brown version they're just simple but they're really nice and they're really nice quality really soft so i can't wait to wear those and they just really come in cute bag <laughs> and then there is another thing i bought a coat but i not entirely sure where i've put it i'll probably find it soon but it was it was a bargain it was uh like you know at the moment i fairfax and favor have bought one out but then barbara have always had one it's like the safari style wax jacket so it's got like the pockets up here and it's got the belt i got one of those from like a country clothing it's warwickshire country clothing and it was 20 pound it's a brown wax jacket i don't have a brown wax jacket at the moment <laughs> i have every other color so i thought oh, for 20 pound you can't really go wrong and it's like a it's a nice style i feel like it's more of a dressy almost like a bit more dressy just because it's got the belt so yeah that's everything i bought today and i'm now going to go and crash on the sofa because i'm really tired <laughs> look how gorgeous these are this is like a dream car for me but it's not very practical so i think this is called horse boarding yeah, it's like not yeah, like a skateboard but being dragged around on a horse that's the game country fair of east anglia done for another year i'll obviously be back next year because it is one of my favorite shows locally i think it's so much better than the norfolk show i don't know why i think it's because i'm more interested in like the stuff here but yeah i did some health checks today um to the gamekeepers welfare trust and got quite a few of those done got to meet some new people which is always great and yeah it's just it's hidden away from the rain all day because the rain is so bad this morning like the roads were flooded they were basically rivers not roads <laughs> but yeah i'm now gonna head home and uh, probably chill out a chill out is in order it's been a busy weekend again um it's always busy, but then when I'm not busy, I complain and I'm a bit like, oh, oh, I'm too busy. I'm not busy enough, but yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to drive home now and uh, get back to my nice warm house and a pile of dogs. <laughs> I'm home now. It was a slightly more disastrous trip home than I anticipated, as it was very muddy. 
Um, I actually got stuck in the mud. Uh, I was having a whale of a time when I drove in, in the mud, but I got a bit stuck. Didn't really know what to do because I only really know how to get out of sand incidents. Not that I've ever been stuck in one, but I know you pour water um, around the tyres. And I was like, well, I've got LucasAid and beer in the boots, so I'll be fine. Um, yeah, so I just put my hazards on a bit like, help, <laughs> no one was coming. And I thought, I, I don't really know what I'm going to do. Just stay here until someone saves me. And then luckily a car full of young farmers uh, comes and then they will help me get out of the mud. So that was good. Um, and then it was, I was kind of like in a weird way hoping that I'd really covered the car in mud because it's funny, but it rained and there was loads of flooded roads. So it was pretty much clean as if it never happened by the time I got home. Um, so yeah, that's the game fair done for another year. Uh, Hopefully next April it'll be in much nicer weather because I'm just sick of it now. Rain all day. Hate it. Uh, yeah, so I think the next show for me is prop. It's probably the game fair, to be fair. Like the one in, um, where is it this year? Blenheim? Bletchley? Somewhere like that. Um, so that makes a change for me. Um, but I think all the shows I'm interested in now are kind of all clustered towards the end of the year because there'll be like the local agricultural shows first and Burley. Um, I think there's another one, I can't remember. But yeah, so uh, I'll try and film more than I did this time round for them. I always say it and whether I'll actually deliver on my promise, I don't know, but we'll see.